What's up, mates? Chilling. What's up, man? Talking shit with freaking Under Oath, man. This is pretty badass. You Download UK. You <laughs> performed twice here yeah. today. Alright. Wow. And we didn't really sleep last night either. So oh. here's the story. Yeah. We went where were we? <laughs> Belgium? <laughs> we played in Antwerp last night. Okay. And we there's lots of laws over here, like uh, usually in, in the States buses just drive for like eight or nine hours, ten hours and they have to sleep or whatever. Over here it's like every four hours there's like a mandatory break. Oh whoa, so, I didn't know that. Yeah, so we missed the, you have to take a ferry between Calais, France and Dover, England to get across the English Channel. There's no bridge or anything. Push your show forward so yeah. we can make the early shuttle so we can sleep, right? We pushed, We played an hour earlier than we were supposed to last night. Us and Kane wow. Hill had a show last night. And Kane Hill Boys, which they're f at, by the way. They, clo so they, they closed out the show? No, no, they, oh. no, no, they opened oh, the show. Oh, yeah, okay, we, okay. we pushed the show early. Uh, it was Justin Kane Hill. And um, in all that, our crew was like on it. Dude, they had the trailer packed by 11, door shut. You get, get down the road, get to the ferry through password control, and they're like, well, you missed the you missed the ferry by 10 minutes. Next one's in uh, at 4.30 in the morning. Oh, my God. So then we slept for two hours, and they make you get off of the ferry. So we were up for two and a half hours, and then you try to go back to sleep before you get here. You're not allowed to sleep. Holy so, so, shit. So the buses yeah. and, and cars and everything drive into the into the into uh, like the hull of a boat, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've never, I haven't been on a ferry in a car yeah, in a taxi. It's, it's crazy. It's yeah. wild. So I knew there was a bunch of bands that had to leave this festival because of ferry. ferry. If, if you tour over here, you have to do it. Yeah. There's no, there's no, like bridge or anything to get you from mainland. The king of the bus. If you're in a van, I think there's other ways, but not in a bus. No. So anyways. Wow. Um, so you guys made it. And you guys played a show. No sleep. Woke up. Did a vocal warm up breakfast basically. Like that. It's just. It's hard to sing early if you get great sleep. But with no sleep, it's like, it's another obstacle to step over. Oh, but dude. We, we saw that crowd, we're like, didn't matter. This f it thing. just energizes you. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, my with God. With a crowd like that. And they're out here at, you know, 1 p.m. in the yeah. rain. Yeah. And it's muddy as f fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. so yeah, you guys aren't prepared for the mud. You were making fun of Spencer, Aaron, on yeah. stage at the Zippo Sessions about your fancy ass boots, which I actually, I think I've seen these before. These boots are dope. Yeah, these are cool. Yeah. I and have a nice pair of boots with me, but I didn't want to ruin them. This so. is not the place to bring nice boots to. I'd love your girl, yeah. Aaron, yours yeah, are cleaner yeah. than mine. How? <laughs> He's floating, man. Well, he I floats, was wearing, bro. I was wearing my show shoes through all the shit. Uh, when I was like in the crowd and in the mud. I was wearing just converse. How is your how is your girl doing? She's great. Tsunami? Yeah, I just just talked to her on the phone. Oh, very cool. Thanks for packing the boots. Yeah. yeah. Do you, you guys have guilty world. pleasure of other type of music that you guys like? I have a theory. I, I feel like you guys have a, a wide I range every, of music. I love, yeah. I love some of everything. I don't, to be honest, I don't like like the trap hip hop okay. stuff. Uh, you know, like the, the like that stuff. I don't. I, care. Like, I like just about everything to a certain degree, except for country. I can't do. I like but that's because I grew up. I grew up in North Carolina, and that was like everything. Oh, yeah. Like the kids that would like beat you up in school, and yeah. like the, the rednecks, the jocks, social like, implications. Yeah. It was just. <laughs> Everything you didn't want to be happened to do and deal with that. When you were in high school, were you a metalhead, obvious metalhead? I was, I was like a skateboarder dude, like that. Like when I was a kid, kid, I was a Nirvana kid. You know, I was a grunge kid. By the way, the cover of Heart Shaped Box at our Zippo Session yeah, stage yeah. is awesome. They were singing I've, I've their seen, asses off. Oh, of course. Cool. And I've seen you guys perform that a few I times. I say you've probably seen it. Uh, I love yeah, it, yeah. but every time I love it. It's such a great yeah. job, yeah. both of you guys. Yeah. yeah. So Nirvana yeah. kid. And yeah, so, Nirvana kid. But you know, as I got a little bit older, I was into like Corn and Lincoln Park and some Ooh. punk rock. And By like the that. way, just a little footnote corn alice and chains and under oath oh my god yeah. you mentioned that dude it, just, it was like it was a light bulb that went off in my house oh corn corn alice and chains dude, two i know of my both bands. yeah both i mean yeah to be Massive touring fans in school over those two guys to be touring with corn and alice and chains that is for me it's like big for, big tour for me like it's like fighters. yeah for me it's like it's like yes it's awesome to tour with them but the fact of the matter is they picked us yeah. Like they waited yeah. months. They were like delineating between all these different bands and they chose we, us. We yeah. heard we might get the tour because they're co headlining, so we're tech, we're direct support. Yeah. And then the Fever opens half and yeah. Horror opens half. And so it's a four band bill. We heard that we were like thought of and we we're like, the fact that we're even considered is so sick. And then we got it. I was like, 
it's still not it's not gonna really be real until I'm standing side stage watching you know both Warren bands and yeah I've seen Altitude so many times and I love them that was a band that like I would drive I'd come up from tour I don't know if you remember do you remember the Deftones Allison Chains co-headliner with Mastodon opening yes like of 10 course. years ago yeah. maybe longer than that. I remember that Crack the Sky yeah. record yeah. is what Mastodon was on was that Crack the Sky? That, that's Crack the Sky. Yeah. Was, was that, that, that long ago? Wow. Yeah, it was that long ago. It was yeah. Crack the Sky. Oh my gosh. So, so, it like 07, 08. So. 06. It was 09. Was it? Or Crack 08. Crack the Sky? Oh. I don't remember. Which is when this I, tour yeah. was. Yeah. And I drove, I came over from a tour and it was the closest came to Atlanta. I drove six hours for it. Because that's how much I love, yeah. like Deftones and House and Shades and, and obviously Corn. But like, to be able to tour with any of those yeah. people, that's like getting a Nine Inch Nails tour. It's a big deal. Or a Foo Fighters tour. Yeah. To have them shoes to me was the yeah. thing. You know what I mean? Like they they took a month to deliberate on. So I we were like, love that. it was like getting getting considered was f-ing cool. But then when they were like, all right, and they told us on Christmas Eve too. Oh, what a cool gift! <laughs> yeah, man. it was cool. Hey, and uh, also, congrats! I said it on stage right now, but congrats to both of you guys. I don't know if I've seen you since the Grammy nomination and. Uh, I know in uh, oh that's the bus he just passed there. oh yeah that's the bus right there I'm oh, getting out Spencer staying oh hey wow oh, oh, man oh dude I totally forgot oh uh, wait oh. I gotta go to America that's right you're right leaving. now yeah yeah you're flying back yeah I live on the West Coast and these guys don't so my flight's earlier oh you're on you're in a, uh, in a, in a yeah. different airport as well oh man Thank you. oh dude well so it's, good been, to see it's you. been a pleasure talking sh- I mean, don't put, you get to tip the f- interviewer I always uh, <laughs> I don't have any cash <laughs> 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 Good to, see hey, good to see you too, man. But, Cheers, oh, guys. Thank so. you, man. See you later, brother. All right. Oh, well, I'll come yeah. over here, dude. Fuck it. Well, that was cool. Part one. Uh, part part one. two. Oh, yeah, uh, under Oak. It, dude's ah. talking ah. shit. Uh, Aaron is uh, getting his yeah, cool course, stuff. Man. Oh, I bet you that best yeah. smells, huh? Like shit. Oh, my God, dude. I'm seeing that. This is my second European show. To see how it is here versus the States. Yeah. There is a difference. Yeah. I mean, these the people here are really f-ing polite and die hard about their metal. They do metal here is way more like for example like Amon or Marth is yeah. so much bigger here than they are in America because it, it's like yeah. more accepted here or they, I don't know there's a lot more metal festivals too if you notice that like there's a lot of big giant really ones. metal yeah. shit yeah. like we're to these people because like, <laughs> we sing all the time we're like we're soft to a lot of these no movies. but dude you guys had a bunch of fans out oh, here today, today. Was, yeah. today was so sick how cool was that, that man? Was awesome. I mean there's just a, it, it, there is a lot of people it, there is a, a lot of under oath fans here and you guys with this last album that came out last April I mean Grammy nominated and all the great <laughs> is happening people are paying attention yeah man it's, it's super rad like we're like what we were just talking about the, with the Alice in Chains tour and stuff like mm. we went from never being invited to a Danny River festival or any of these European festivals to playing all of them, Grammy nomination, yeah. biggest headlining tour of our career, bigger than our reunion tour off of Race Week. The Race Week tour is the yeah. biggest tour we ever had, the biggest headlining show we've ever done. Congratulations. Thank man. you. So and, good. And then we went out with Breaking Ben. Made yes. th- like those dudes are some of my favorite new people. Like met those guys, worked on a song with them. Oh. And like all sorts of cool So shit. are like, you gonna do something with Breaking Benjamin? I, me, me and Ben like worked on something that I can't talk about. Yet, oh, we, like that's how close we got that's with this. Cool. Like he hit me up after the tour and said, "Hey, would you be interested in doing this?" I'm like, yes, I would. Oh my goodness! Like, Breaking mentions uh, massive, man. Yeah, and then we we did that tour, and now we're doing this Allison Chains tour, and back and download, like all these things that we didn't used to get invited to. Uh, just making that record just really changed our whole world. Are you guys in, uh, working on something new right now? Or is there anything in there? We're starting to write now. Okay. Like, it's not serious writing yet. It's not like we're like paying for stuff. Like, we have some like little studio spaces that we own that we can use. Nothing that's like listenable, you know. But we started, me and Aaron did a couple tracks and started to like work on some stuff. Because we were doing some re release for the record for the label. They asked for a few things or whatever. And uh, it just got us in the room together. So we were kind of already messing around. Good. I love you know. that. I love that you guys, you know, are, everything's coming together, gelling together. This album, this cycle, uh, yeah. is, is proving to be really good for the band. What is that? And so are you, and so is Aaron from the band, and so is Under Oath. I got a cool lighter here, uh, Spencer. A uh, dude's talking sh- sh- truck. Uh, this is our second time doing this. Is our this. second time doing yes, it. Yes, sir, man. Hell so yeah. thank you for doing this, man.